The opening of Cafe X in Sherman Heights was filled with music, dance, and lots of caffeine and baked goodies. Co-owner and founder Kia Pollard opened the shop with her mom, Cynthia Johnny, and says the timing couldn't be better. With the legacy of Malcolm X inspiring this, this journey, this vision, it's super important to really commemorate that and take this time during Black History Month and all months to really um, move that forward. So for us, it's powerful and it's energizing because it's going to set us up for the rest of the year. Latoya McElvin and Courtney Jones live nearby and have been looking forward to the grand opening. For them, it's about supporting other people who are from the same racial and cultural background to break the cycle of socioeconomic inequality while enjoying what they say is phenomenal coffee. I love supporting black-owned businesses, black-owned, woman-owned. Oh, huh, come on now. To me, that's a trifecta. So I like to, you know, people say you vote with your dollars. I like to make sure that I'm voting with my dollars and allowing my money to circulate back into communities that need it um, and help to support entrepreneurship. The new location, just east of the 5 Freeway, is nestled alongside other like-minded creatives and small business owners in the same building. After having to previously shut down due to pandemic-related struggles, Pollard and her mother were overcome with joy and are already planning out what's ahead. It's going to be continuous activation of the space, really thinking through some of the creative projects that we're doing, the Black Women's Resilience Project that we're working on, um, and many others that will come, you know, and really planning those out thoughtfully so that we can move um, issues, tackle issues in our community and, and do it in a collaborative way and a way that is fun. <laughs> Pollard says the cafe will eventually become a space where they'll offer paid internship opportunities to help historically underserved youth from the area with the goal of inspiring a future generation of entrepreneurs and leaders. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.